Ian Bremmer here from a very stormy, all of a sudden, New York City. I've got your world in slightly more than 60 seconds because it is coronavirus crisis week, month, year. Here you go. Your question is lined up. What's the coronavirus update? Is there global coordination yet fighting this pandemic? Global coordination is completely absent. Uh, there is a level of harmonization from the central bank governors because they are mostly technocratic and independent and because they all basically hail from Western advanced industrial countries, those that matter. The Chinese, of course, don't have a convertible currency, uh, so it's a wholly different story, monetary policy, um, and they've worked pretty well. Um, on otherwise fiscal policy, it is not oriented in coordination. It is certainly not what the emerging markets, the developing world is going to need soon. Uh, the G20 and G7 meetings that have had so far have accomplished very little on that front. But most importantly is a complete lack of coordination on the medical side in terms of what kind of testing, what kind of metrics, in terms of even things like the contact tracing really needed across the West. I mean, France says they want to start their own, but they've got privacy issues with Apple right now. You need the private sector and the public sector, at the very least, coming together on the tech fixes. That should be the easiest thing to do. You want one system. We've got every country, at best, coming up with one for their own. And even inside the United States, there's a lack of coordination. President Trump comes up with, here is what phase one, phase two, phase three looks like. Then you've got a bunch of states around the United States saying, we're going to open up even before phase one is in place. Not what you would have expected, but that's where we are. Um, okay, what do you make of reports that Kim Jong-un is extremely unwell? Well, he's not that old. Uh, so it means if he dies, there's probably not a good succession plan in place. Uh, one assumes his younger sister would take over since she's the one that has been given uh, much more significant authority, uh, big roles across uh, the, the North Korean state government. Um, but you know, might there be an internal military coup? One doesn't know. Uh, danger in a country like this is, you know, whenever the leader is you know, sort of not there, whether it's out of the country or under um, surgery, uh, the potential for, um, a, you know, a, 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 a hostile uh, response internally is real. Um, and so, I mean, I, this, it's, it's clearly very dangerous uh, when the world's most totalitarian state, one of the only ones that still exists now, with virtually no intel, even from the Chinese, on what's going on inside, and suddenly the leader might be gone. Um, the people that will suffer the most on the back of this will, of course, be the North Koreans themselves. Hard to imagine that that would lead to um, military activities that would threaten stability in South Korea or Japan. Um, but that doesn't mean that you would have, if he were to die, um, the question of the disposition of their nuclear weapons and materiel, uh, whether the military would all act in coordinated fashion. Those are real concerns and one of the reasons nobody wanted them to have nukes. Um, to begin with. And then finally, how will the U.S. suspending immigration change the status quo? Uh, not very much. I mean, Trump loves to make announcements like this. Um, and then, of course, there are all sorts of exceptions. Um, you, there are lots of immigrants you need. The State Department just a few days ago came out with uh, that they want more immigrants and they're going to make it easier for them to apply if they can be a part of the health care response to coronavirus. We desperately need more people doing contact tracing. People involved in that, I suspect, will also be welcome uh, in terms of immigrants. I suspect that there will be um, exceptions made for people that are able um, to pay large sums of money to get visas that way. So, I mean, first, not many people traveling right now. Generally, all sorts of quarantine about 60% of the global population under lockdown. Secondly, not going to have much real impact. There'll be exceptions. But of course, what Trump wants to do is give something that his base really loves. Um, and at the same time, if he agitates international alliances, he doesn't really care. Um, that's a longer term problem. And it's one he doesn't think matters very much. So unfortunate from my perspective, because you don't really need to undermine alliances that have already gotten weaker over the course of the past years. But Trump's view is those relationships don't get add to very much in terms of American influence um, and power. And he's been consistent um, in the way he's acted, in the way he's feel, felt in policy on that. So anyway, that's your world in too much time. And I will see you guys next week.